Issue 77, the Romulan Shuttle. Yeah, so as per usual, you get the, sh uh, the magazine and the ship itself, but more on that in a little moment. Um, this is one I've been waiting for, actually. Um, and I don't believe this never had a ship, same with the back seal. Um, it's never had a model before. Um, I don't know if uh, Attackwing have done one yet. Um, they might have done, I don't know, I'm not sure. But saying that, though, um, it it's nice to see a ship that isn't, you know, a regular ship, you know, so, um, anyway, we're going to specification, operated by the Romulan Star Empire, type long range shuttle, operation 2370s, um, length 24.23 meters, so it's about the size of a runabout, top speed 9.6, weaponry, quite heavily armed for a shuttle, um, six disruptor, six disruptors, two fo photon torpedo launchers, so it's, it can hold its own. Then we've got a beautiful CG shot. That could have been the front cover, but it went with this one. It's a bit strange. But that is a beautiful CG render. I love that one. Um, the Dominion developed several ways of detaching, uh, detecting cloaked Romulan ships, including long-range tachyon sensor and an anti-proton beam. The Romulan Star Empire employed this shuttle from 2370. It shared some design architecture uh, as other Romulan ships, in particular, the shape of its head, it was more more advanced, more powerful than standard shuttles used by Starfleet, and mo more like a Romulan in terms of size and abilities. Uh, more like a runabout in terms in terms of abilities, like I said, yeah. Um, and then we've got going into the episode that it appeared, because it appeared in the one episode, which is in the pale moonlight. Now, I'm gonna go. Th I'm just gonna say this now. In the Pale Moonlight, it gets a lot of rep, a bad rep, and because people say, well, it's not Star Trek, it's not, it's the most least Star Trek episode there is, and I love it because of that. I think it's one of the best episodes of Trek that's ever been written, um, and I'm not going to spoil it, but if you've, if you've never seen it, go watch it, but you've, you've kind of got to watch the whole series up to that episode, because it, it, it all makes sense, if you know what I mean, um, so yeah, it, it's a fantastic episode. Um, um, of course, it was commanded by Senate 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 Vrenak as well. Um, then you got the topographical scan, which is really cool. I always like this section; it shows you all the different various features of the ship. Uh, Romulan ship disruptors left behind residual antiproton antiproton particles that could uh, detect the still be detected several hours after an attack. Um, the Romulan shuttle was the first new Romulan ship seen in seen in the... Hang on, let me start again. The Romulan shuttle was the first new Romulan ship to be seen since the small Romulan scout ship that Admiral Jarok used in 2366. It would across the neutral zone and attempt to defect the Federation. Yeah. Dominion Pact. Senate of Renek negotiated a non-aggressive pact between the Romulus and the Dominion. In 2373, the Romulans also signed a non-aggression pact with the Tholians and the Miradon and the Bajorans, making inroads into the Alpha Quadrant. And then we've got designing the ship, which is uh, Doug, Doug Drexler designed this one. Um, you can see the model there, and you can see uh, you know preparing for shooting there. Um, and then you've got sort of you know a, a really quick. Pencil drawing, and then you got the coloured inversion there. In fact, no, that's a picture of the model. Sorry, uh, that's an actual picture of the model itself, um, which is really cool. And then we've got more pics of the model itself as well. Um, because it's only used in one shot of it decloaking in the cargo bay, uh, in the shuttle bay rather. And then we've got a, um, a shot of uh, the actual interior model. Of the uh, runabout pads in on Deep Space Nine, and then eventually where the Romulan shuttle will be placed and then f later photographed, and then you've got a picture of Doug himself with his parrot, who helped design the ship. He took elements for his from his parrot and designed the ship, and then we've got a bit about the man, the legend, Andy Robinson, Andrew Robinson. 
Uh, for those of you who don't know, he played plain simple Garak. Um, he was also in uh, Hellraiser as well. Um, and he's also the guy um, in the first Dairy, Dairy Harry film. The one who says, Did I shoot six or five? Andy Robinson. Um, one, he plays one of my absolute favourite, favourite, favourite characters in all of Trek. The plain simple Taylor, uh, Obsidian Order agent, Elim Garak. And it goes into a lot of stuff that Garak. Uh, the character of Garak and the actor and stuff, which is really cool. I've not had a chance to read this properly yet, but I will. Uh, I will do it in a little while. Um, yeah, fantastic. And then we've got on screen first appearance: Pale Moonlight, uh, only appeared in Deep Space Nine, uh, designed by Doug Drexler. Trivia: Romulan Senator Vrenak was played by Canadian actor Stephen uh, McCarthy. His memorable delivery of the line, it's a fake, um, during the Dominion, uh, when uh, he discovered that the record of the Dominion um, imminent plan to invade Romulus had been fabricated, uh, became a popular internet meme for a time. Uh, McCarthy later played in the disfigured foreman of the Torellian mine in, uh, mine in uh, the Delphic Expanse, in the Star Trek episode, episode Star Trek Enterprise episode The Zindi. Um, the outfit was used for the outfit that was used for the holographic uh, forgery artist um, Grethon Tolar was repainted and reused after it was previously been created for the character of Kellen, uh, the first minister of Rakozal for in the episode Star Trek Voyager episode Dreadnought. I can't talk today. Uh, the title of the episode, In the Pale Moonlight, was taken from the 1989 film Batman, in which the Joker asked, have you ever danced with the devil in the pale moonlight? In context of the episode, it, it's meant to, meant to have knowingly committed an immoral act, even though it's for the greater good. The greater good. And uh, next, episode, next issue is going to be the Voyager Aero Shuttle, which is going to be cool. Then we've got the top view on the back there. So... Onto the ship itself. And here we are. This is rather spectacular, actually. Um, for a ship that was only used in one scene, in one shot, this is really, really, really nice. You can see all these greebly details on the bottom there. It's even, like I say, you can you can definitely tell runabout in this, but it's definitely a, runabout, a Romulan runabout. Um, it's got beautiful light piping nacelles, as you can see there. Um, and it's even got the sort of design... Emulating the Romulan warbird, um, you've got a raised uh, Romulan symbol on the back there. You've even got raised Romulan languages, which are unpainted, but it's but it's a nice little element. Um, you've even got detail under the wings there. They could have not bothered with that, and I'd have never even noticed. I don't think you can see it in this light, but they're definitely under there. Um, this is a really nice ship. Now, if you're cherry picking Romulan ships, you really need this in your collection. Um, this is a really, 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 really good ship um, from a really fantastic episode as well. Um, but yeah, it's just, just, just brilliant, and it picks up the light really nice in those nacelles. Um, although I do believe the window should be in black, um, and I think it's missing a few little bits of paint apps uh, from its deflector dish there. Let me just check. Um... Yeah, you can see there, it's just missing a few little paint apps, and the window should be black. So I might go to um, Games Workshop and get some of the colours, because they do some really, you know, unusual colours. And just a bit of copper painting and that in there, I think would be fine. Um, but yeah, it's really fucking cool. And it connects to its stand like this. And it's going to look amazing next to my Romulan, me the Romulan chips. Um, if you're gonna get it, if you're gonna get any of the ships, get this one. Um, I really like it a lot. I think it's it's, it's well worth the 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 money. Um, it's just just a fantastic kit, just a fantastic piece. It really is nice. Um, which I think you can fit it ultimately. No, I can't do that really. So yeah, um, yeah, th these two ships we've had the last two issues been really good. I just wish they could put that kind of effort into. You know, an enterprise. 
But hey ho, that's me, that's the Romulan Shuttle, and I will catch you later. And remember, it's a fake!